Hey, welcome back to CAC Sports. Um, checking, we are uh, continuing our series where we check back in with the hater. Um, about two years ago, he had made some predictions around the uh, rookie flagship uh, tops cards for Lewis Robert and Kyle Lewis, who at the time were sort of going neck and neck for the AL Rookie of the Year. Um, Kyle Lewis ended up winning it. Robert came in second. Uh, but as you know, we've gone through time, uh, Robert clearly has proven to be the, um, the better player as of now. Um, so I wanted to play some of the footage from the hater and his advice, and then I'll come back and give you my prediction for their rookie cards. Now, I think the best thing about these thinking of these two guys together is that you can kind of you can just put their names together. They're like one player, Kyle Lewis Robert. Um, uh, you know, I have trouble with Kyle Lewis. I, I worry about that he's going to strike out too much and he's just not going to produce at a level that would make anything in the card market uh, worthwhile. Lewis Robert, not the second coming of Conseco, dude. Come on. Maybe, maybe he can get a 30-30 season in there, but it's going to come with um, with a lot of, I don't know, subpar Peripheral number. Hey, what do you think about buying their um, their official rookie cards from the Topps flagship uh, series? Do I buy the flagship rookies? Kyle Lewis, PSA 10, 55 bucks ish. Lewis Robert, 85 bucks ish. I don't know, man. It feels high. It feels high for players who are in like 10 years. We're gonna we're not we're gonna think back on and you know think maybe they had a couple good seasons. I just don't see it. Not long term buys for me. All right, so we're back. Um, you heard the haters take, you know, he basically said you can't be buying any of the base cards um, of these guys. And, um, and he, was, he was definitely correct on that. Now, you know, when you look at the, um, the dates and, you know, when the, um, when the haters' advice was given, it was during the height of the market, right? So this was April of 21. And um, so Lewis Robert, his PSA 10 2020 tops number 392 was around $86 or so. And um, basically as of about a week ago, towards the end of October, uh, the price was $8. Um, and that is a negative 91%. Now, when you look at the pop reports, right, there are, um, <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh at this, at, at these numbers because they're, the more I thought about them, the more absurd they they really be, became. Um, you have this card has been graded thirty eight thousand two hundred ninety times. This this data is as of um, October twenty third or so, and there are eighteen thousand and thirty PSA tens. That card is now at eight dollars. My prediction for December thirty first two thousand twenty seven is three dollars, and I think I might be conservative on that one. Um, there's just going to, it does not matter. Lewis Robert had a great year this year. Um, you know, he's, he stayed healthy the last year and a half, um, but it just doesn't matter. There are too many of these cards out there and there, the demand for them is going to be even less than the demand that we see for graded cards from the junk wax era in the early nineties. Sorry. So if you have them, and you're not just doing a, you know, a PC collection because you're a Chicago White Sox fan or a baseball fan or a Lewis Robert fan, I think you should sell these at $8, as crazy as that sounds. Because a few years from now, it's just going to keep going down. All right, Kyle Lewis. So when, Kyle, when we initially did the video in April of 2021, the Kyle Lewis card was around the $50 mark, $51 if you want to get, get really fine. Right now, the price is $2. And um, so that's a 96%, uh, a negative 96% return. So the hater was spot on. Um, the numbers here are still absurd, but not as crazy as the Lewis Robert. 20,528 total um, graded at PSA and 15,378 of those are PSA 10s. A much higher ratio of 10s to the ratio of the, the total um, population. Um, my price prediction for December 31st, 2027 um, is, is a dollar. And I think that's actually, um, I think that's actually being generous. The bottom line is these slabs are going to be in the dollar box uh, along with uh, raw cards. 
um, of, of various uh, other players. Kyle Lewis was just, um, and I didn't even realize this, he was, he's, he's on the Arizona Diamondbacks. I'm not sure how he got there, uh, but he has had trouble staying healthy. His swing and miss, um, you know, uh, concerns that I had um, <clears throat> have come to light. And, um, you know, if you have these cards, I recommend, and you, again, you're not a Kyle Lewis fan, you're not a, now a Diamondbacks fan, um, dollar, uh, donate them. That's about all I got for you on this one. We will see you next with uh, Matthew Barzal of the New York Islanders and the report on him.